Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2024 and in this video I am going to show you 20 powerful features for this tablet. So let's start. The first feature is about multitasking. For example, I open this website and now I want to use another app. So I will take out this edge panel and then from here you can select any app. For example, I want to use Samsung Notes so I can easily drag and drop here in the split screen. Now I can take my notes and I can also scroll through the website. The next thing is you can also bring any data from a website to your notes. For example, I want this image so I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this image in my notes and later if you want you can also edit this image as well. The next thing is you can open another app so I will take out this taskbar and then from here you can select any app for example I want to use this calculator app so I can easily drag and drop over here. Now you can do your calculation you can work on your notes and you can also scroll through the website. If you want to bring any data from this app to your notes, you can also do it. So just select it like this and then press and hold it like this and then you can easily drag and drop here in your notes. You can also change the size of these apps and you can also change the position of these apps as well. Select these three dots and then from here you can change the position. So here you can see I change the position of these apps. The next thing is you can also bring these apps in pop-up view. So for example I want to bring this app in pop-up view. So I will just press and hold it like this and then I can easily drag and drop here in the pop-up view. The next thing is if you want to bring another app same thing you can do is you can just press and hold it like this and then you can open it in pop-up view as well so here you can see I open two apps in pop-up view you can also change their size so here you can see I can change the size of these apps as well and I can work on all of these three apps together the next feature is about Samsung ecosystem. For example, in my tab S6 Lite 2024, I will take out this edge panel and then I will scroll to the clipboard. So you can see the clipboard is currently empty. Now on my Samsung phone, I open a website and now for example, I like this image and I want to copy this image. So I will press and hold it like this and then I will select this option of copy image. So I will copy this image. Now the same image will be available in my Galaxy Tab S6 Lite as well. So now if I take out this edge panel, so here you can see on my clipboard the same image is available. I can also use this image. For example, I open my notes and then I will take out this edge panel. I will press and hold it like this and I can drag and drop this image in my notes. So here you can see the same image that I copy is now available in my tab S6 Lite. The next feature is about screen of memo. For example, your tablet is locked and you are in a hurry and you want to write something important. So just press this S Pen button and then tap on the screen two times like this. It will open the screen of memo and here you can write anything important. Once you finish with your writing, you can save it from here and then later you can access it through your Samsung notes. The next feature is about book reading. So you can use this tablet for book reading and you can use different book reading apps. So here I'm using Moon Plus Reader and you can use your S Pen to have a real flipping page experience. The next thing is if you want to read for a longer period of time, you can use Eye Comfort Shield option. So just bring down this quick panel and then here you see this option of Eye Comfort Shield. So just press and hold it like this and then you can can turn it on from here and then you can set the color temperature from here. So for example, I will set it to maximum and then if I open my book reading app, so here you can see now you can read for a longer period of time. You can also use this tablet for digital planning. So here I am using Penly app and you can see we have this amazing digital planner. So we have this yearly calendar. You can select any month from this side. So for example here you can select any month. So I will select April and then from here you can select any page number. So you can go for any page number from here and then on top we have this to do list option. Then here we have this notes template. For example I select this template and now 
now I want to write. So here on this side we have different tools available. I will select this pen tool and then I can write on my planner. I can also highlight it as well. You can also create hyperlinks. So I will use this selection tool. I will select my handwriting and then from here I will select this option and here is the hyperlink option. So I will select web link and then here you can type your URL. For example, I will type here samsung.com and then I will press OK. Now I will go back and then I will open my planner and then if I just double tap it like this, it will show me the link. I will press OK and then it will open the same website for me. So this is really, really amazing. The next feature is about taking notes on top of videos. For example, you have a lecture going on and you want to take notes in the meantime. So just press this S Pen button and then tap on the screen two times like this. It will open the Samsung notes and here you can start taking your notes. The next thing is you can see this note taking app is blocking the view behind. So what you can do is select this blue bar, then select this opacity icon and then from here you can reduce the opacity of this note taking app. Now you can see the video behind and you can also take your notes in the meantime. The next thing is if you want to do the screen recording of your note taking and the video, you can also do it. Just bring down this quick panel and then from here select screen recorder and then select start recording. So after this countdown, your screen recording will start. Now the next thing is if you want to highlight anything important in your screen, you can use this pen tool from screen recorder and you can highlight anything important on your screen. The next thing is you can also turn on the front camera. So here is the front camera option. I will select it like this. So here you can see the front camera is open and now you can move it anywhere on your screen. Once you finish with your screen recording, you can just stop from here and your screen recording will automatically save in your gallery and later you can access it, you can edit it and you can share it. One more thing I want to mention here is below this video, you see this like button. If you press it like this, it will change its color. You can try this experiment. The next feature is about S Pen. So guys, this S Pen is also included with Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2024 and this S Pen has a lot of functionality. First of all, it does not need any charging and here you can see this flat surface so you can attach it magnetically on top of your tablet like this or you can also attach it here at the back side. The next thing is you can also use this S Pen for different tools. Tools. For example, I open a website and now I find some interesting information. For example, I want to save only this image part. So I will bring my S Pen closer to the screen. I will open the Air Command tool and then from here I will open Smart Select tool. Now I will use my S Pen to make my selection. For example, I want to select only this image part. So I will select it like this. So here you can see only the image part is selected. Now if you want, you can also edit this image, you can share it, you can save it. The next thing is you can also pin this image. So here is the pin option. So here you can see the same image is now pinned to my screen and I can move it anywhere on my screen. So guys, this S Pen has 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity. You can use this S Pen for note taking, drawing or sketching. The next feature is about note taking and PDF annotations. So you can use Samsung Notes app. So this app is pre-installed in this tablet. So here I open a new note and you can see we have different note taking tools available. So you can use this pen tool if you want to write something on your notes. You can also use this S Pen to text option. So whatever I write, it will convert it into the text. The next thing is you can also use this shape tool so you can create neat shapes. So here you can see I draw this circle. It will make it neat for me. I can also draw other shapes. The next thing is you can also use the PDF annotations option. So I will go back from here and then here you see this PDF plus icon. So you can select it like this and then from here you can select your PDF file. 
for example i want to edit this pdf file i will select done and here is my pdf file now if you want to edit it you can use all these tools for example if you want to highlight something you can use this highlighter if you want to write you can write on your pdf file you can create different shapes as well once you finish you can also save it as a pdf file and you can also share it the next feature is about study mode. So if I bring down this quick panel, I will select modes and then from here I will select study mode. Now everything will become grayscale, restriction applies on some apps, do not disturb feature will turn on. Now I can only use the apps that are related to my studies. So how to enable this study mode option? First of all, I will turn it off. So I will turn it off from here. Now you can see everything will go back to the normal tablet mode. Then I will go to the settings and then from here I will select modes and routines. Once you go inside modes and routines, here is the option of add mode. You can select it like this. You can give it any name. You can select done and then here you can customize your study mode. The next feature is about S Pen to text. For example, I open Google and here I want to search something. Now instead of typing, I can use my S Pen. So I will select this search bar and then here I will use my S Pen to write anything. So I will write here hurt and not me. So here you can see it will convert my handwriting into the text and then I will select search option and then it will show me the results. Same thing you can do for URL. So I will select this URL. I will cut it from here and then you can write your URL. So here for example, I will write samsung.com. So here you can see it will convert it into the text. I will select this go option and then it will open the Samsung website for me. You can also use Samsung Dex feature to have complete desktop experience. So here I open the Dex and inside Samsung Dex you can open multiple apps and you can also resize these apps as well. So here you can see I have over here and I also have taskbar. Now if you want to open the apps, you can open it from here and you can see you can open multiple apps. You can also change the position of these apps. You can also resize these apps as well. The next thing is if you want to access more apps, just select these dots from here. It will open the app drawer and then you can access other apps as well. The next feature is about organizing your workflow. So you can use apps like Notion and here you can create notes. You can also set up different type of tasks and you can also use AI to write anything. For example, here I want to write something about brain anatomy. I will select this AI feature and then here I will type brain anatomy. Okay and then I will submit it. So here you can see AI will start writing it for me. So this will be really, really helpful if you want to generate different type of ideas. The next feature is about palm rejection. For example, I open my notes and here I want to write something. I will rest my hand on the tablet and then I will start writing. So here you can see on this side there are no spots. So I can easily rest my hand on the tablet and then I can write whatever I want. So this means this tablet support palm rejection technology. The next feature is about adding text to notes. For example, you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting information and you want to save it. So you can use your S Pen and start selecting the text. So for example, I will select this text till here. Now you can see this option of add to note. So I will select this option. So the same text will be added to my notes. So here you can see the same text that I selected is now available in my notes. Now if you want, you can also edit this text so I will make it full size like this and now if you want to write something over here you can just use this keyboard option the next thing is it will also show you the link for the same website so if I select this link it will open the same website with the same highlighted text so here you can see the same highlighted text is available over here the next feature is about widgets so you can control your widgets directly from your home screen for example 
here I have this gallery widget. So you can see I can scroll different images in this widget. The next thing is I also have this Spotify widget. So if I want to play any audiobook, I can directly play or pause from here. I can also move forward or I can also move backward directly from this widget. The next one is this habit tracker widget. So I can also access this widget directly from my home screen. If you want to access different widgets, just pinch your home screen like this, select this widgets option and here you have other widgets available. Now let's talk about the cameras. So the rear camera is 8 megapixel and you can also use this camera for auto scanning of documents and the front camera is 5 megapixel. So here on this side we have the front camera. Now let's do the unboxing for Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2024. So here is the box. I will open the box and inside we have our tablet and the color I have is Oxford Grey. So I will take it out so you can see the color for this tablet. So this is Oxford Grey Tab S6 Lite 2024 and the next thing inside the box is S Pen. So I will take out the S Pen. So here is the S Pen for Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2024. The next thing is this SIM ejector tool. So we have this ejector tool as well. And now I will open this box. So inside this box we have type C charging cable. And we also have this user manual. So guys, the next thing that I want to mention here is this tablet does not include any charging adapter. So guys, this tablet has Exynos 1280 processor with 4 GB of RAM and here I'm using 64 GB variant. You can also get 128 GB variant with same 4 GB RAM. You can also extend the memory up to 1 terabyte. So guys, this tablet has TFT LCD display with 60 Hz of refresh rate. The screen size is 10.4 inches with Android 14 and One UI 6.1 software. So here you can see the gaming performance for Tab S6 Lite 2024 edition. The battery for this tablet is 7040 mA and it comes in three different colors. So it is available in grey, mint and rose gold. The current price for this tablet is about $479. So guys, the weight for this tablet is 465 grams. It also has the option for face screen lock. And it also has the dual speaker system with Dolby Atmos sound option as well. As I already mentioned, the S Pen is also included with this tablet, but if you want, you can also use S Pen Pro for air actions. Now let's talk about some of the missing features. So guys, this tablet does not have keyboard connector, but you can use Bluetooth keyboard. The fingerprint sensor is also missing and the box does not include the charging adapter. So guys, this is for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.